Hi guys, you might be wondering why I'm sitting with so many gadgets in front of me, but today we're going to look at the list of comprehensive mics that I've used and which one I think is the best. So first off, I'm going to talk about this Scarlett Studio CM25. One thing about this is that I actually struggled with setting it up because it came with an interface and by the time I set it up, I could have actually finished taking like two or three videos. The ratio of like the value I was providing with the mics that i already owned versus this was a little off and it was disproportionate but this mic is actually great for people who want to become musicians it's really high production value i agree but it was just not for me because i create short form content so setting this up and getting it ready it just took a lot of time in which i could have created another video or two so this was just too much so i've never used it since and yeah i think i used it once to talk about this mic in a video but apart from that i never used it if you are a content creator like me and you want to create crisp and clear audio or if you want to start a podcast but you don't know how to process the audio and make it more sharper so that your podcast quality is so much more better yeah so now that this is out of the way next up this is the most recent purchase which is the fifine a6v one thing about people who are new to tech is that they get overwhelmed by the number of things that they need to know before getting it but this is a, almost like a no-brainer because you get a pop filter a shock mount a tripod has a touch to mute accessibility and uh, this is super simple to connect you just plug and play with your laptop and once you connect it you you have a feedback that you can see on your laptop and great value for money so if you're creating a podcast you need like two or three mics for your guests it's not as expensive as the mics that are out there i would say it's pretty reasonable because it's only 2500 rupees you can also buy the same mic with a table clamp but yeah i feel like for the price range for the audio quality for the amount of value it provides it's actually pretty good but one con is that obviously you cannot move around with these mics because you can only use this mic if you're connected to a laptop and that's where wireless mics come into play so my go-to wireless mic is actually the wireless go-to and this is by Rode and I've spoken about it on multiple occasions great mic great audio quality very reliable has a great battery life only con that i can think of is that it's very very expensive and it's a huge investment to make because it's not cheap but that's why we get the hollyland lark m1 you get two mics at half of the price of the wireless go to which is a pretty good steal in my opinion so if you're going to create content and you're not doing it individually you can definitely use this because not only is it cheap it's compact it's light it comes with the charging box that allows you to charge your mic and the receiver at the same time with a wireless C pin. It's very travel and user friendly because if you charge the box, you'll be able to charge the mics even if the charger isn't connected to the box. So if you're on the go, if your box has charge on it, you'll be able to charge your mics on the fly. So one more plus in comparison to the wireless go to is that you can charge the mic and the receiver with the box instantaneously with one wire and even without the charging wire on the box you'll be able to charge it as long as the box has charged but that's not the same case with the wireless go to because you have to individually charge the receiver and the mic which makes it a little bit of a hassle because you have to ensure that your receiver and your mic has a sufficient charge which is more of like a responsibility thing you know if you're a little forgetful your mic might not have charge or your receiver might not have charge but overall it's very reliable but it's just something to keep in mind this is just more travel friendly in my opinion and one more pro about this is that even if you lose the box you'll be able to charge the mics and the receiver with a type c charger so it's not like you're completely reliant on the box to be working to charge the mics it has its own charging capabilities it's just easier to charge with the box so overall this is the comprehensive list of all the mics that i've used and what my opinions are on it let me know if you have any budget friendly mics or mics that you've used in the past that you think are really good and continue to use i would really love to try them out if they aren't the same things that i'm using but yeah that's it for today's video i hope that you got some value out of this and i'll see you all in the next one bye